Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell have been sharing the silver screen and a life together for many a year now. They're in conversation with Tracy Smith. Welcome to the North Pole, Jack. In the new Netflix film, The Christmas Chronicles 2, you get pretty much what you'd expect from a big holiday movie. Are you really? I am. Uh-uh, no way. I must be dreaming. Oh, you're not dreaming, Jack. That's Kurt Russell. You're in Santa's village. The real one. Who's arguably the fittest Santa Claus ever. And of course, that's his longtime real life partner, Goldie Hawn, as the missus. I think it should be called Mrs. Claus's village. Me too. Why? Well, I, I, I never thought of that. Of course you didn't. But it might surprise you to know that for Goldie and Kurt, the clauses are more than merely something. mythical. I like your approach to these characters because you take them seriously. This is not a caricature or a cartoon. No. Yeah. You're right, very, very seriously. You gotta remember, he's a real human being. He's not a comic book character. He's not made up. He was a bishop. He was a man. The question is, of course, is through the myth and the legend and whatnot, how is, how is he still around? How is that possible? But no matter how St. Nicholas, a.k.a. Santa, is still around, or how he and the missus wound up together, the real-life story of Kurt and Goldie has, well, a certain magic all its own. Presto change, yo! Their first meeting, if you can call it that, happened on the set of the 1968 Disney musical, the one and only genuine original family band. Was there a first impression? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think for me, I mean, he was way too young for me. I mean, I was like dating older guys, right? Um, in my, I was what twenty. I was only fifteen years old, so and, I didn't even have, uh, I didn't have a car. I didn't have a license. Goldie was a dancer without much of a speaking part, and what's more, the producer didn't like her name. He yeah. called me and he said, "You know, I I know this is sensitive, but you you really your name sounds like a stripper." <laughs> My mother gave me that name. That was my that was my great aunt's name, Goldie. And I said, oh, I'm not changing my name. I'm sorry. I said, you know, my middle name is Jean. What about Goldie Jean Hahn? Would that be, would work for you? And he went, well, I guess it's gonna have to work. And I said, gee, I guess it is. Goldie Jean Hahn. Goldie Jean Hahn. That's where we met. <laughs> I mean, look at this place. The army couldn't afford drapes. I mean, I'll be up at the crack of dawn here. But by the 1980s, Goldie Hawn was a name, an Oscar winner. I think I'll stay. Who could produce a hit movie and star in it, too. Lewis. You were producing, directing, acting at a time when a lot of women were not right. doing that. Right. How many times did you hear no? Not many. No. Mm -mm. But the problem wasn't the no. The problem was the trepidation, really, of other male directors wanting to work with me because they thought that I would want to take over. What you doing in here with a gun snake? Looking for somebody. For his part, Kurt had shed his wholesome Disney image for something a little grittier. And when he met Goldie again during his audition for 1984's Swing Shift, both were divorced and neither was looking for love. Matter of fact, when I met Goldie, I was at a time in my life, in a period of my life, where I was very definitely going to put my worst foot forward when it came to a, any kind of a relationship with the possibility of a relationship. I put my worst foot forward. If you can handle that, then maybe there's a chance of some reality there of being together. I used to think to myself you that... Your Worst foot forward. You know, I, could, I, 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 I could hardly say that. You know. Um, um, <laughs> you know. I would say if you'd done that with me, I wouldn't be with you today. Well, I think I did, but but I did. I did kind of How put so? who I was. Um, well, the first time I met her, I was horribly hungover. Yeah, you know, that, that's not a good foot but forward. You were fine. <laughs> Your it's, worst foot forward. It, well, I didn't try to put my best one forward because it's a hard thing to hold that up. You know, once you've done that, now you've established something that you've set a bar that you, you can't, you can't stay with. You can't you're keep. You're really you can't, confusing you know. me right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is like 
a group therapy session. <laughs> In the four decades since they met, Russell and Hahn have created some extraordinary characters, but each on their own. Two very separate careers under one roof. One of them fellas is not what he says he is. Do you guide each other as far as the roles that you've chosen? Are there ones? Not at all. Do you talk about it before you say yes or no? Very rarely. He's never made a mistake in terms of what he's decided to do, ever. But he's never been bad, ever. And so <laughs> even movies that I didn't like. You get a lot of pushback on that. I thought, <laughs> was, no, you've never been bad. Was, I'm, I, you've I been, agree with you. I don't think I've ever been bad. You've been bad in other ways. <laughs> You know, but as an actor, I mean, I just think you're amazing. You don't understand. There are only three ages for women in Hollywood. Babe, district attorney, and driving Miss Daisy. Of course, Goldie hasn't made all that many career missteps either. And when they're not working, they divide their time between homes in Aspen and this one in Los Angeles. How long have you been here? About four years. We built it. And yeah. it's just so great. I love it. Is. But they say they're we, proudest we like of their blended family. Four children between them with six grandchildren. And it seems enough love to go around. So I'm sure you guys get asked this. What is the secret if you could boil it down? Don't, there's no, no secret. secret. Don't, there's, it, and, and I love you for asking that question because it's a yeah. normal question. Um, but there's two things. Uh, for me, anyway, and it's that you, you both want to be together. You got, <laughs> I mean, you've got to want to be together. And as long as you, why are you laughing? I mean, just because, because it's, you're right. It's up and down. It's sideways. It's whatever. At the end of the day, what, how do you explain it? I don't know. I guess it's as simple as saying, I, for me, it's the same thing as what you're saying. I, I, I call that love. But you can actually survive a relationship in a way that when you get older, you go, oh, I'm so glad I got through whatever period that was. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because the relationships go through periods, sometimes really hard times. But there's nothing sweeter than having a family. And that is worth everything.